traffic is quite slow here uh, I'll be arriving soon but still got a lot of traffic to deal with and this road is not particularly good so you can see this construction going on around it's unusually warm here in Shanghai for, for November today is the first of November and the peak temperature is going to be 27 degrees today that's crazy it's usually not like this Shanghai is not particularly cold around this time of the year but 27 seems like a bit too much for uh, November uh, but I'm not complaining this is this is good weather I'm not complaining I'll take it any day so this gentleman I'm going to meet is a serious rider he likes his motorcycles just like just like myself and so he would have a lot to say about his riding experiences in, in China so we just arriving now to where he works he actually works at the Shanghai now to DB yeah so he was just asking me where I'm going so yeah you can see the race car so it's a Shanghai um, circuit you can come and rent a car a race car and race or you can bring your old car or motorcycle you pay a fee and you go out there and race and I've never tried it but I think I should try it one day so once I get out there I'll show you the race course itself and hopefully hopefully someone is racing there today yeah modification going on all over the place see races in there that's really cool nice so we're just arriving now Oof. pretty sweet nice motorcycles he seems to be busy out there working on a Ducati Panigale V4 Alright guys, so here we are and um, just gonna take a look at this Benelli 1130cc motorcycle. So it's a 20 year old design motorcycle from Benelli, uh, but this particular one was produced in 2015. So we're gonna take a closer look. The owner was telling us a few things about it, so we'll try to tell you some of the things that we remember about what he said about this bike. So if we just um, start from, let's start from the dash. So like I said a while ago, it's a 20, it's a 20 year old design. At the time, this was, this must have been a very futuristic uh, design for motorcycles from Benelli. Uh, so it did, this, this bike didn't really catch on. And over time, there've been, there've been many, many much better uh, uh, bikes. But the design is, looks, still looks really, really cool. It has caught on well with the time, so that's a good thing. But if you look at the bike generally, it's made a lot of um, adjustments to, to the motorcycle, a lot of aftermarket installations on the bike. So we're going to take a look at some of the details of the aftermarket additions that, and modifications that he has made to, to the bike. So let's start off here. You can see that it doesn't have those standard uh, motorcycle um, switch gear and switch buttons so he's going for button sort of um, installation you have the horn down here you have the turn signal you have this a mode button and you have the headlight button and uh, the turn right button and uh, a lot of modifications here the clutch lever has been changed to Brembo the hand grips actually the whole steering column has been changed 
and on the right side as well you have uh, engine ready start button and all that he also has installed uh, a stabilizer for the steering to prevent tank slapping vibrations but this is original this button here switches between sport and sport mode and uh, uh, rain mode and you have your usual indicators here so nothing really extraordinary but as classic classic Benelli will have it there's no gear indicator you have to install an aftermarket gear indicator and uh, funny enough there's a an ABS indicator uh, inscribed on the screen but there was no a ABS installed no module no ABS mapping in the in the computer so it's really strange why they would put it there. Maybe it was put there for future purposes. But on the whole, it's a really beautiful looking bike. I like the design of the, of the seat and the pillion. It's a bit firm, but I'm sure it will do the job just right. But if you look at the design, it looks like a bike made for 2024 and not 20 years ago. Yeah, no, I mean, because I don't use it usually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just impulse. You yeah, just yeah. know where it is. This is left uh, trumpet, this is high beam, low beam, mm. this is oh, uh, okay. preparing this, the starting of the engine, the starting the engine, just to turn on the blinkers, like okay. the blinks are at the same time, like the alarm lights. How's that like, yeah? Uh, uh, quick action throttle, uh, Which one? this is quick action throttle, this is not the oh, original. Oh yeah, the yeah, domino, yeah, domino right? one. So it's just like a quarter of a turn here, this will get. Mm. Because the original you have very, very yeah, right. turn for this one. Is and just... the, gear, what you have, the gear indicator. Yeah, gear indicator. Where did they go put it? Uh, that what? one has it. The 2018. The 2018 doesn't have it either. Yeah. This old, my old one doesn't have yeah, it. Yeah, that, 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 that. Uh, cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that. A fun, and it's a fun fact about if you if you see carefully. There is ABS written here, right? Uh -huh. yeah, Inside the but there is no, no ABS, ABS there. They never give the ABS. Oh. They were planning to in the newer version, but after Benelli they so failed, good. yeah, sold it to the Trans Giant, this model was discontinued. Mm -hmm. mm. So they never continued the plan. But but it, the module is in the system, the computer? No. No, no, no. no. Oh, it's okay. Just, just, a, as a, just a show. Just as a show. Oh, okay. I added an ABS later on. Okay. So it's an aftermarket ABS. I added the phonic wheels. Right. Both rear front. It is okay, it's acceptable. Mm, probably need some refinements. Mm -hmm. So this bike consumed the incredible. It co the consume the consumption is crazy. Through the roof. Through the roof. <laughs> so you go home and come and you have to fill pretty up. Pretty much, yes. Wow. Pretty much. It if you ride hard, it always depends how hard you ride. Mm -hmm. Right. If you're very, very hard then. 120 kilometer is all finished. There is no fuel economy in this bike. Right. It's just even in, power. even in the rain rain map. Rain map is same air to fuel ratio as the oh, power map, okay. but the spark advance okay. of the um, the issue is different. So right. it's, it produces less power. Right. For example, in power map, 6,000 RPM, you mm -hmm. top at 50 degrees spark advance. In rain map, it's 20. So higher number, higher power, smaller, smaller power. And they had to control the, the torque on this bike, but they didn't have the electronics to do it, so they just put a very, very small sprocket. Mm. Yeah, it's really tiny. Also, so yeah. like, it looks really tiny. Yeah, it's a 36-tip. Yeah. Super, super tiny. Yeah. It's a 1150 fuel bar. <laughs> that's, like, that's like a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's huge. This is the, the fuel level. The gauge, right. yes, it tells you the, the level, but it's very inaccurate. After a while, it's, 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 it can be a little thinner, right? Man, it's just dangling it. We are talking about 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. This is a modern, ah, fuel, yeah. modern fuel yeah. bottle. Okay. <laughs> the difference is huge. Yeah, exactly. It's interesting to know that this bike doesn't come, like I said, with ABS, which is crazy. An 1130cc motorcycle without ABS sounds like a joke, but again, 20 years ago, what more can you expect? Now, I'm just going to talk about one very interesting thing that he said, which is a disadvantage on this bike. He just said that this bike, pardon me guys, there's too much noise on the road, but I hope you can still hear me. So this bike doesn't come with ABS, that's one thing. And another thing is, 
you really can't wash this bike. And I'm just going to show you the reasons why. So let's start from the battery. Take a look at how the battery, how exposed the battery is. So if you have a pressure washer, it's just going to blow water and water is just going to sit in there. And also you have this um, ignition ECE also really exposed. And so if you pressure wash it, you're just going to destroy it. You have this um, filter right here exposed i think this is aftermarket but still i mean it just doesn't doesn't make sense to have a, a motorcycle that you can ride in the rain or even wash it when it's dirty so what do you do when it's when it's really dirty because not sometimes you really need to pressure wash a bike and this original design it's okay to wash the radiator but the fan is right here exposed so water is just going to get in the motors and it's going to stop working it's really a bit of a bummer to to have this. A look at the air intake tank. It's it's not properly sealed and it's exposed as well. So once you pressure wash it, water is just going to sip in there. I can understand why the owner has made so many changes to this bike because if uh, modifications make the bike look like this, then I wonder what it's going to be like when it's brand new. Three cylinder engine and it has a horsepower of, it comes with a horsepower of 160 which is really really torquey and he was just telling us that it doesn't come with traction control it doesn't come with abs so it commands too much power when you uh, set off and he's gone through one set of tires already even though the mileage is very very low he recently went for new tires so that makes it a bit of a bummer to to think that you only ride for a few hundred thousands of kilometers and you have to change the tires. That's really something to, to, to think about. But overall, it's a really, really nice bike and you, can, you really can't fault it. There is a joke among owners in Italy of this bike yeah. that you don't know yeah. if you can come back home. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. You can go, but you're not sure if you can come back. Yeah. If you want to travel on this bike, you better be careful because you can be somewhere in the mountains yeah. and then it won't work yeah yeah <laughs> and man i'm telling you there are so many gimmicks so many things you have to know for example like as i said when you crank it the first time you have to do it two times yeah if it's cold um, and if someone don't know you're gonna keep cranking you're gonna yeah put it in the shaft exactly and the bike is fucked yeah like, there, there is a lot of things that are <laughs> <laughs> you have you must know it's right. not a normal bike yeah the battery is not a normal battery. Mm -hmm. It has to be a lithium with a lot of CCA amps. Wow. Because if it's too few cold crank amps, yeah. the shaft doesn't have enough power to power to, to spin and then it bend the rod right. inside the engine and then it snaps. So if you fail to crank maybe three, four times, yeah. the battery is dead. Wow. So you have to <laughs> the god <laughs> cranking four times because after the fourth there is no better so every day you you start this bike you're like okay yeah, 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 yeah. Every, every day yeah pretty much yeah pretty what, much. what about in winter have you had this in winter yet this is the first winter she's going okay through. right that will be another adventure mm, yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> you need to maybe put set some fire here yeah. and <laughs> like heat it up <laughs> The oil, the oil is sleeping. Let me warm it up a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Right. So. All right, guys. So that was a Benelli 1130 right here. We're just trying to tell you the pros and cons. And you tell me in the comment section, what do you think? I, be, I think that this bike looks like a bike from uh, for this current age. But think of it designed 20 years ago and manufactured in 2015. It's still a really good looking bike. But like you said, if you're buying this bike, know what you're going into because there are little, little problems that you have to deal with. So if you're not technical, don't go for this bike. But if you want a bike that you can go ahead and fix and sometimes have fun with maintenance and modification and all that, then this, this might be the bike for you. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you had some value from this video. And if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell when I upload so new videos. You'll be one of the first to be notified. Hit the like button so this video will be recommended to other people. Thank you so much once again. Ride legal, ride safe always. Peace out.